analysis of simple trust part 2 presented by professor khamkar up working as a lecturer in civil engineering department vishveshwaraya abhiyantriki padvika mahavidyalaya almala latur in part 1 we will see what is trust types of different trusses component part of trusses classification of trusses assumptions in analysis of trusses types of trust connection and one simple numerical problem in this part we will solve the cantilever truss and simple supported truss by method of joint let's see first Analysis of cantilever truss. This is one cantilever truss as shown in figure. There is a two forces 15 kN and 20 kN are acting at joint B and joint C as shown in figure. Now we calculate the forces in the different member. To calculate the forces in members we will first calculate theta. The angle therefore sin theta is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse so we will get the theta the value of theta is 45 degree now consider joint c and draw a free body diagram at joint c this is first force which is horizontal fcb and this is second member which is inclined FCD. The inclined member we resolve first in two directions that is horizontal and vertical direction. Horizontal force is FCD cos 45 and vertical force is FCD sin 45. At a joint C 20 kN force is applied in downward direction. To calculate forces in the member FCP and FCD, we will apply the conditions of equilibrium. That is, summation f of x is equal to zero. The in the left direction we will take negative. In right direction forces we will take as a positive. Therefore, minus FCP minus FCD cos 45 is equal to zero. Therefore, FCB is equal to minus 0 0.707 FCD. We didn't know the value of FCD. So, applying second condition of equilibrium, summation f of y is equal to 0. There is two vertical forces that is 20 kN and FCD sin 45 which is applied in downward direction. So, both taken as a negative minus 20 minus fcd sin 45 is equal to 0 therefore by solving this equation we will get fcd minus 28.28 kN. the value of fcd put in above equation and we will get the value of fcb which is 20 kN positive therefore final forces in the member fcb is equal to 20 kN tension and FCD 28.28 kN compression. Now consider joint D and draw a free body diagram at FBD. This is the free body diagram at joint D. At joint D, three members are connected, which is DE, DB, and DC. The member DC is inclined, so resolve that member in two components that is horizontal component and vertical component. Horizontal component FCD cos 45 and vertical component FCD sin 45. By applying condition summation f of x is equal to 0 minus FDE minus FCD cos 45 is equal to 0. By solving this equation we will get FDE is equal to minus 20 kN.
now apply the second condition of equilibrium that is summation f of y is equal to 0 there is vertical forces are fdb and fcd sin 45 fdb is in upward direction so taken as positive and fcd is in downward direction so taken as negative by solving the equation we will get the value of fdb which is now consider joint c at joint c the free body diagram is as shown in figure a 20 kilonewton force is acting at joint c to resolve forces are fcd cos 45 fcd sin 45 by applying summation f of x is equal to 0 we will get the value of fcb the final forces are fcb 20 kilonewton in tension and fcd 28.28 kilonewton in compression now consider joint d and draw a free body diagram at joint d by resolving dc summation f of x is equal to 0 applying equilibrium condition we will get fde minus 20 kilonewton second condition summation f of y is equal to 0 we will get The final forces in the member are Now consider joint B. At joint B, FBD, FBC, FAB, three members are connected. By applying summation F of Y is equal to 0. The vertical forces are 15 kN, FBD, FBE, sin 45. Three vertical forces, therefore we take the summation of these three forces, minus 15 minus FBD minus FBE sin 45 is equal to 0. By solving this equation, we will find the value of FBE which is minus 50 kN. The negative sign, therefore, FBE is equal to 50 kN compression. Now, applying summation F of S is equal to 0. The horizontal members are also 3. FBC minus FAB minus FBE cos 45 is equal to 0. By solving this equation, we will get the value of FBE that is 55.35 kN, which is positive, so it is in tension. The final forces in the members are 20 kN tension in member BC. In member ED, 20 kN compression. In member DC, 28.28 kN compression. In member DB, 20 kN tension. In member ED, 55.35 kN tension. In member BA, 50 kN. Now move out for second problem. That is simply supported truss. A simply supported truss is as shown in figure in which at joint B, 
100 kN downward force is applied and at joint C 80 kN of force horizontally is applied. The AF, FE and ED all spans are of 3 meter and the height of truss is also 3 meter. To calculate to analysis the simply supported truss we will first calculate the support reactions at A and D. For this problem horizontal and vertical both forces are acting. So at every roller support there will be horizontal as well as vertical reactions are occurred. In this problem it is at A. So at A two reactions that is RAH and RAB is calculated and at D RDV is calculated. The free body diagram of forces to find the support reactions. There are two reactions at A that is vertical reaction and horizontal reaction. The 100 kN force is applied downward direction and 80 kN force is applied in horizontal direction. As shown in figure, the distances of 100 kN force from A is 3 meter and of horizontal force from A is also 3 meter. Now applying condition summation f of x is equal to 0 minus 80 plus RAH is equal to 0 and RAH is equal to 80 kN. The final horizontal reaction is 80 kN. Now applying second condition summation f of y is equal to 0 RAV plus RDV is equal to 100. Now applying moment condition summation of MA is equal to 0 by taking moment about A by of 100 kN and 80 kN and RDV. The equation is 9 RDV is equal to 100 into 3 plus 80 into 3. By solving this equation we will get the value of RDV which is 6.67 kN. The value of RDV put in equation number 2 we will get the value of RAV which is 93.33 kN. The final reactions of this truss is RAH 80 kN, RAV 93.33 kN and RDV 6.67 kN. Now we will calculate the forces in the members. First we consider joint A and draw a free body diagram at joint A. This is joint A. At joint A two members are connected that is AF and AB. At joint A vertical reaction is 93.33 kN and horizontal reaction is 80 kN. The inclined member resolve in two forces that is FAB cos 45 and FAB sin 45 by applying condition summation f of y is equal to 0 summation of vertical forces there is two vertical forces that is FAB sin 45 and 93.33 kN both are in upward direction so taken as positive the equation is 93.33 plus FAB sin 45 is equal to 0 By solving equation, we will get the value of FAB which is minus 131.98 kN. Now applying second condition summation f of x is equal to 0. In this, there are three horizontal forces that is 80 kN, FAF and FAB cos 45. All are in right direction. So, by solving this equation, we will get the value of FAF which is 13.32 kN. So final forces in the members FAB 131.98 kN compression and FAF 13.32 kN tension. Now consider joint F. At joint F, three members are connected which are FFE. FBF and FAF. To calculate 
apply condition summation f of x is equal to 0 horizontal forces are 2 so minus f a f plus f f e is equal to 0 therefore f f e is equal to 13.32 kilonewton now applying second condition summation f of y is equal to 0 in vertical forces there is only one force f b f therefore the value of f b f is equal to 0 kilonewton therefore final force at joint f f f e is equal to 13.32 kilonewton which is in tension and f b f is equal to 0 kilonewton now consider joint b at joint b there are four members are connected f b c f b e f b f and f a b and by resolving inclined forces in horizontal as well as vertical direction at a joint b 100 kilonewton force is applied in downward direction first applying summation f of y is equal to zero the vertical forces in this joint b are four the summation is taken as all four forces that is f b f minus 100 plus f a b sin 45 minus f b e sin 45 is equal to zero by solving this equation we will get the value of f b e 9.44 kilonewton now applying second condition summation f of x is equal to zero there are horizontal forces are also three FBC plus FAB cos 45 plus FBE cos 45 is equal to 0. By solving this equation, we will get the value of FBC is equal to minus 86.64 kN, which is negative. So, final forces at joint B, FBE 9.44 kN in tension and FBC minus 86.64 kN, which is in compression. The consider joint D and calculate the forces in the member FDC by applying condition summation F of Y is equal to 0. We will get the force FDC is equal to minus 9.43 kN. The negative sign indicates the compression in the member. Similarly, FDE 13.34 kN the final forces in the members are as shown in figure first 13.3 kN tension in the AF in AB 131.98 kN compression In BC, 86.64 kN compression. In CD, 9.43 kN compression. In BF, there is zero force. In BE, 9.44 kN tension. And in FE, 13.32 kN tension. In part 3, we will discuss about analysis of trust by method of section. Thank you.